the Indian Armed Forces are undergoing a significant modernization process. A key part of this is the acquisition of new assault rifles. Two prominent contenders have emerged, the AK-203 and the AK-12. Both rifles are modern variants of the legendary AK-47 platform, renowned for its reliability and effectiveness. The AK-203 blends classic design with modern enhancements, while the AK-12 incorporates numerous ergonomic and technical improvements. This essay will delve into the details of each rifle. We will explore their strengths, legacies and differences. Finally, we will analyze their potential impact on the Indian Armed Forces. Let's dive in. The AK-203 is a modern iteration of the venerable AK platform. Developed by Kalashnikov Concern, it uses the 7.62 by 39 mm cartridge. Its simplicity and reliability are key strengths. The robust mechanism makes it resistant to malfunctions. Highly adaptable, it supports various accessories. Weighing around 3.8 kilograms, it is easy to carry. Its compact size is ideal for urban warfare. Easy to maintain and repair in the field. Crucial for sustained combat operations, the AK-203 is a reliable and versatile weapon. To understand the AK-203, we must delve into its lineage. The AK-203 is a direct descendant of the AK-103, itself an evolution of the original AK-47. The AK-47, developed by Mikhail Kalashnikov, became one of the most widely used assault rifles in history. The AK-103, introduced in the 1990s, incorporated several improvements over the original AK-47. The AK-203 builds upon this legacy, inheriting the best features of its predecessors. In contrast to the AK-203's evolutionary approach, the AK-12 represents a more radical departure from the traditional AK design. While retaining the core principles of reliability and simplicity, the AK-12 incorporates numerous ergonomic and technical innovations. It features a redesigned stock, adjustable for length and cheek rest height, improving comfort and control. The AK-12 also boasts a more ergonomic pistol grip and a redesigned fire selector. Chambered for the 5.45 by 39mm cartridge, it offers advantages in accuracy and ammunition capacity. The redesigned muzzle brake and recoil compensator reduce muzzle rise and improve controllability during automatic fire. Despite its recent introduction, the AK-12 has already seen action in various conflicts. Adopted by the Russian Armed Forces in 2018, it has become a mainstay of their infantry units. The rifle has been deployed in the Syrian civil war, gaining valuable operational experience. Reports from the field suggest that the AK-12 has performed well in combat. Its improved ergonomics and accuracy have been praised by soldiers. The AK-12's initial performance suggests it is a capable and reliable assault rifle, well suited to modern warfare. When comparing the AK-203 and AK-12, several key differences emerge. The AK-203 uses the 7.622x39mm cartridge, while the AK-12 uses the 5.45x39mm round. The 7.62x39mm round has greater stopping power, effective in close quarters engagements. The 5.45x39mm round offers better accuracy and controllability, particularly during automatic fire. The AK-12 has a clear advantage in ergonomics with its adjustable stock and improved controls. The AK-203's use of the 7.62 Baba 39mm round could simplify logistics for the Indian Armed Forces. The choice between the AK-203 and AK-12 depends on the specific requirements of the Indian Armed Forces. The adoption of both the AK-203 and AK-12 represents a significant step forward for the Indian Armed Forces. These modern rifles will replace older, outdated weapons, enhancing the capabilities of Indian soldiers. The AK-203, with its reliability and ease of use, could become the standard service rifle for the Indian Army. The AK-12, with its advanced features, could be issued to specialized units like Special Forces. 
The introduction of these rifles could also boost India's domestic arms industry, creating jobs and reducing reliance on foreign imports. The adoption of these rifles is a positive step towards modernizing India's military capabilities.